hi friends in the previous video we have seen about these component <coughs> selectors the so different types of selectors how we can use it in the different ways we have seen right now about the components it's uh, we have about the components we have did it now what we will try to do is so we will see i will i will change back to the old selector so that it will be very easy for us now i can change this one in the user component dot uh, for app component at html also i will change this one to app hyphen users only now we will go to another concept nothing but what we can say is data binding data binding what is this data binding data binding is nothing but what we can say is how the users users html file and also the typescript file interacts the data between the communicates the data between them is nothing but what we can say is data binding so the data what we have in the typescript file how we can um, how we can send the data to the html file is nothing but the data binding how the html and the typescript will interact the data between the things is all nothing but how it will bind the data between the two files is nothing but what we can say is data binding now here let let me go to the user.component.html here as uh, so instead of going to users.component.html what we'll do is we'll go to the user.component.html okay here i am showing that user component so that means nothing but what we can say is this is the users component the plural so it can users component is nothing but what it will have is it contains the list of users okay each user information is present in the user component okay you understand the difference between those two components users component will hold the list of all the user components okay it will contains all the list of user components so each user data will be having in user component so let's say that we can write something like i will write div okay i will write div i can write here user with id okay something uh, xxx is some id is something like that is is offline or online or something like that okay so now here i want to get this data dynamic okay how we can get the data from the typescript is so here i can go to the typescript and here i can write in this one okay user id i can mention the user id as 10 or something like that and also i can mention user status what is the status of that guy so he is offline okay i can mention like this in this way we can define the variables or properties in the typescript so user id this is a number right you can also mention it as a number or otherwise typescript in explicitly infers that one so okay so now if you go to user status it is a string right so if you see over here you will be able to see that is a type of string if you want to mention you can explicitly mention that one also <coughs> sorry so we have added two properties user id and user status here now we will go to the html and we need to use this both the user id and user status in the html file how i can use is so this is the way we can use open to open and closed curly braces okay curly braces we need to use and in this one we need to write user id so we need to write user id and here i can write two curly braces user status i can write the user status okay user status i can write the user status now what we are using here we are using user id user status and we are automatically using it here user id and user status here okay this is how we can use the properties whatever the things are declared in the uh, ts file we can use that one in the in the the appropriate html file okay so you need to remember that all the time this single in this in between between this uh, open and co close it curly braces we can write a typescript expression okay we cannot write if if statements or any block statements and all those things we cannot we, we should not write those things we can write only the expressions or something like ternary expression we can implement only that we can implement for example here if i want to enter the string means so what i can do is i can write here something like user so in the 
single quotes or double quotes i can use user so that means the user it will print it as a string or otherwise if you write like this user id it will not print the user id as a string it will search for the variable that property that is present in the ts file and and that properties data it will the written data will be printed there okay so all the time you need to remember that it should be the the interpolation whatever you are using it should has to written string okay or otherwise any data that can be converted into the string okay now here user id i am convert i am sending it as a number okay but here what i have told so this uh, the variable whatever the variable or the method whatever you are using it should be converted it should be it should return string you, uh, I, I, I told right so but here user id is number so here the interpolation the number can be easily converted to the string so for that reason it will be printed okay so whichever the data that could not be converted in the string we get a problem so that is a that is a thing we need to remember now if i save this one and if i execute the output if i see the output here you can see that user with id 10 is offline so i so for me i am getting three times why because i ha i have duplicated the component three times so each each component is having the same data now going on we will we will make it dynamic now this is the way how we can use the string interpol interpolation in the angular and also what we can do is for example instead of writing this uh, user status i will write get user status i will try to use the method we can also use the method typescript method how i can use this so here i can write the method here i can write get user status okay so this is how we will be writing typescript methods this is how we can represent the typescript method now i can go here and i can tell so i want to return this dot this dot user status i can use directly this dot user status like this i can use directly so i can use this one get user status i can use so this one is returning string data only so no problem if i refresh this one i will get the same output okay same output i will be getting the same output okay in this way we, we will be using the string interpol interpolation what are the properties you want to use it in html you need to use that one using the open and close curly braces two times two, two times open and close curly braces we need to use like this okay so this is the string interpolation in the angular so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you